Yo guys, what's up? Kalen here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we have an 88 rated Anthony Gordon Foot Future Stars review for you guys. So, I wanted to get this video out to you guys on Monday or maybe even Sunday, but unfortunately, in the last game of qualifiers that I had to win with an 84 rated player, my electricity cut off and I couldn't get this video out to you guys. But I did go ahead and play rivals, get qualification points again just to qualify and then play it and get the one win with the 84 rated player to get this card but anyway we have gotten the card is six foot tall high medium work rate right footed primarily with four star skills and a five star weak foot of course this card is completely free you can start a left wing right wing left mid right mid newcastle links premier league links and the english links passing on the card looks solid enough drilling on the card does look very good apart from the 82 reactions i might give him an engine i think an engine boost reactions if not a maestro definitely does so i will give him a maestro if i think he needs it passing on the card is solid enough i'm gonna play him a striker so i think i'm gonna go ahead and give him the hawk chem style to boost the pace strength aggression and shooting does need that attack positioning and finishing to go a bit higher as well so this is the team i've got him in i've got the links from woolock Cout, Mascherano, Coutinho, Cole, Smalling and Ferdinand basically overloaded this guy with links but when it comes down to the actual details like I said I'm going to go with the Hawk chem style takes the pace up to 96, attack positioning and finishing up to 90, shot power gets maxed out, long shots almost maxed out and he does get a plus 4 to the pens, passing and dribbling is fine like I said, physical jumping goes up to 78, strength goes up to 72 and aggression is going to go up to 82. When it comes down to the traits, it's got early crosser, flare and outside foot shot traits. I'm going to try this card as striker, cam, right forward and left forward and a 4 on 2 on to narrow and 4 3 2 on. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 88 rated foot future stars, Anthony Gordon. So straight off the bat here, Coutinho gets it into Gordon one on one using that 5 star weak foot just cuts inside and places it beyond the goalkeeper and into the back of the net and we do managed to get an equalizing goal because of that good run made from him knows where the space is runs into it Coutinho slips him in behind and he does end up tucking away that chance this goal is pretty similar to the last this time Woolock slips him in behind and now he's one on one I'm gonna try the outside foot shot and he tucks it away so you can clearly score the finesse shots the outside foot shots we know he can tuck away as well one on one with the goalkeeper those do not seem to be a problem so heading on to the next clip of this match Coutinho has it once more, gets it into the Ketelari, just going to test out the dribbling, haven't really got a chance to test it out yet, that's a pretty good turn and unfortunately doesn't really get past his man, but we win the ball back in a flash here with Ferdinand, he gets that into Anthony Gordon, that touch is very very good to take it beyond Kalulu and the cross is inch perfect, the Ketelari is there and that is a pretty simple finish, this guy had enough, he pauses and he does end up quitting. Heading on to the next clip, Zanetti gets it into Mascherano, this is in the second match of this video. The Ketelari gets it into Gordon, first time pass into Willock, who basically goes ahead and does the rest. Or Willock, my bad for pronouncing it incorrectly, but Joe Willock with a good goal. I will make a review on him as well, if you guys want to see that, it will be on the channel pretty soon. Here, Anthony Gordon with another beautiful pass, and that was a triple tap square. I'm not too sure why, he's just yeeted that in the air. But regardless, great pass from Anthony Gordon to send him in behind. And you guys can clearly see he can drop deep and create chances for teammates. But his best attribute is very clearly running in behind. Does it again here, cuts inside. Well, doesn't really cut inside, but he shifts his body, goes for the finish shot, and the keeper stands no chance, caught in no man's land. And from outside the box, he finds the top corner. On to the next clip, Mascherano finds Dirk Kaut. Coutinho gets it into Anthony Gordon. This is a chance, brilliant touch. And what a finish from Anthony Gordon, right into the top corner. Great touch to get away from the defender, the ball is in mid-air and he just basically juggles past him and the finish is sensational at the end of it. Here again he's testing out the dribbling, manages to get past one and two, keeps it in and unfortunately that cross is to Coutinho, he's never going to win the header. But great dribbling before that, just to create a chance in the first place. Here though he gets one-on-one -on -one with Maldini, can I get past him? Yes I can, great dribbling and unfortunately the finish shot was pretty poor didn't really set himself up for it or i didn't really set him up for it properly but regardless great dribbling before that to create a chance speaking of great dribbling excellent dribbling here quick feed get past one and two and this time the left footed finish shot from inside the box does find the back of the net great dribbling there just showcasing that he can also get past players using that skill instead of just running past him as i'm going to do right here just going to use the pace get into that space i'm going to go for the finesse shot again and he smashes the bar this time first time hitting the post in this video i'm pretty sure there will be many more clips where he does but 
really really unlucky there great skill from him and unfortunately it doesn't end up in a goal we are testing out the power shots and that is very very close we whizzes past the post and like i said we really should be scoring that i know wrong direction etc wrong type of shot as well but i do want to test out the types of shooting on this card i want to see how he does in different scenarios with different types of shots i've scored basically every type of shot with him so i'm trying out the power shots just to see how it works i just see another good assist in the background but yeah i'm trying out the, the power shots for the specific reason of seeing how good he is by the way here you can test out the free kicks he does have some really good free kick stats as you saw at the bottom of your screen so the knuckleball a little soft but the keeper doesn't end up catching it and we do end up getting a corner from now from that corner zanetti is going to take it out to the edge of the box coutinho loops that over to anthony gordon takes a good touch gets past his man another power shot and he smashes the crossbar once more what a volley that is a thunderous hit from anthony gordon and it's really unlucky once more that is not in the back of the net here though again just using the physicality and the pace gets past alonso power shot once more please and he hits the bar again he hits the bar again you guys could see that goal rattle by the way it just shows how hard this guy actually hits the ball but onto the last goal of this video coutinho gets it into anthony gordon controls it beautifully on the chest inside the box and he follows it into the back of the net great finish once more from anthony gordon to cap off a pretty solid catalog of goals so guys with that being said it is time to review this 88 foot future stars anthony gordon card and as you guys see from the player bio it is some pretty solid stats six games six goals and four assists 10 goal contributions in six games could have been a lot more i unfortunately hit the post a lot of times which sometimes i do take responsibility for for example one or two of the power shots that i could have very easily just taken finesse shots from or just gone for a normal shot and it would have gone in but i wanted to test out the power shots and he very clearly hits them very very nicely unfortunately they just don't find the back of the net but that could just be me on my day a little bit too much power so don't take anything away from the power shots in that situation when it comes down to the pace sensational with the whole camp style this guy's very fast very difficult to catch especially in running in behind and you can clearly see his ability to drop deep and just run forward with the ball is definitely there as well so pace on the card is very very solid shooting on the card very good with the whole camp style the finishing is sensational every shot i took in the box did go in and also some long shots the one finish from outside the box one that hit the post another one that hit the post and a couple more power shots that hit the post so Shooting on the card is very, very good. The shot power and the long shots is definitely there. He does score them. Unfortunately, like I said, I was just unlucky and hit the post instead. Finishing with the whole camp style is the way to go, in my opinion. It does take it up quite nicely, as well as give the shot power and the long shots that much need a boost. When it comes down to the passing on the card, in my opinion, it's perfectly fine. He doesn't really need that passing boost. Even if you are playing him a cam, 87 short pass, 84 long pass is more than good enough. So passing is fine. By the way, Shooting and pace, I did not rank out of 10. Pace, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. He does go very fast. Shooting does get an easy 9 out of 10. This guy is very good at shooting. And passing, in my opinion, does get an 8.9 out of 10. Now, he can make basically every single pass. But, of course, he's not the best at passing. He's not going to make those ridiculous passes. But, basically, any mediocre pass, any good pass that you want him to make, he will make it pretty easily and pretty solid as well. So, Genuinely, passing does get 8.9 out of 10. Dribbling is very, very good. He does sometimes take some heavy touches. That's down to the low reaction, so you can give him a maestro camp style if you want to. Just to take that up by 8, up to 90, and he will get 99 dribbling as well, if I'm not mistaken. But honestly, the dribbling on the card is definitely solid. I think he does deserve a 9 out of 10. And the physical is pretty good as well. Does 100% last the full 90 minutes. Doesn't really win headers, but if that ball is played to him in the box and is on a plate, he doesn't need to, as you guys saw. For the last goal of the video stamina like i said is more than good enough strength isn't the greatest but his pace does afford him the ability to run past players so does the agility and the balance does make him pretty evasive in this game so when it comes down to the physical i'm gonna give him a 7.8 out of 10 and do i think this objective is worth the grind yeah a hundred percent i have to be honest with you a hundred percent this guy is completely worth the grind he is so good this card is free he is free if he's on the market he definitely costs over like 200,000 coins and that is without a doubt maybe even more because of that five star weak foot genuinely this guy for a free card is insane now it is difficult to get um but in my opinion people that play qualifiers genuinely 
you basically just need to qualify for like three weekend leagues maybe even two weekend leagues and you have this card so this card should take you about maybe two weeks if you can qualify for weekend league even if you can't qualify for weekend league, you can get up to the 86 rated card which is still a very very good card so genuinely this objective is an absolute w from ea i know it might seem a bit difficult because it's in qualifiers and not many people will be able to get this card in one week because if i'm not mistaken you do need um about seven wins if i'm if i'm not wrong with this anthony gordon future stars card in order to get the 86 before weekend league so genuinely once you get the 86 card getting the 88 isn't anything of a major train smash but yeah this card is a hundred percent worth it best chem cell i would say is a hawk chem cell but if you are playing my account i'd say go for the finisher chem cell just to boost the dribbling up a little or even the maestro to max out the dribbling take the reactions up and improve the passing and shooting as well but with that being said i do bring it into the video if you like this smash the thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one peace